before the reboot that will keep the characters out of Marvel's hands, but after the Roger Corman movie that also kept the characters out of Marvel's hands, come two other attempts at the franchise that prove these characters should really be in Marvel's hands by now. Fantastic Four and its crappy sequel. At a time when comic book movies began to show how good they could be, two films will remind us how badly they can suck. You guys look like an 80s rock band. As the director of Barbershop is handed the reins of Marvel's original super team, then steers it off a cliff. Come on, come on, come on. And don't tell me there's no way to make a good Fantastic Four movie. It's called The Incredibles, and it's perfect. Witness a more or less faithful adaptation of the totally bananas 1961 origin story, where a space cloud gives four people completely different superpowers, leading to one movie about recreating the space cloud on Earth, and one movie about trying to save the world from a completely different space cloud. My people called it Galactus. No, this is Galactus. That is a space cloud. What is it with this era and evil clouds? Stop making cloud-based villains! Meet the Fantastic Four, whose powers line up perfectly with their Fantastic Four shadowing. Same old Reed, always stretching. I see you're still doing all the heavy lifting. To be seen and heard. Oh, you're hot. Why, thank you, so are you. There's Reed the Nerd Richards, his crush Sue the Girl Storm, Johnny the Human Chlamydia Storm. Were you just waiting outside the bathroom to try and catch me in a towel? and their overly attached friend, Ben the Thing Grimm, who's rewarded for his loyalty by getting made fun of. Johnny! Literally getting dumped on, made into an outcast. I'll take the stairs. And getting rejected by his fiance just for looking different. Man, I didn't think I could hate Andrea from The Walking Dead any more than I already did. No, don't touch me! No! Drums! Together, each of the Fantastic Four must set aside their only character trait to take on Victor the Green Goblin Von Doom and the Silver T-1000 Morpheus. All that you know is at an end. But instead of the wild space battles and psychedelic showdowns you love from the comics, watch them use their superpowers in a bunch of super boring settings like taking up overhead compartment space, X games dance battles, pooping, and skincare. I've got a zit. Can't you put makeup on it? No, no, I got it. So before you see the third and hopefully final attempt to launch the Fantastic Four, relive the original two disappointments who gave their lives so that Chris Evans could be free to play a decent Captain America. Sorry, I... Ion? Ewan? Ewan? Gruffafudded? Starring Ion Gruffafud... Oh, not again. Has too many vowels and too many consonants. Elon Musk, Mercury Rising, Battle Cloud Galacticus, Jessica Albeams, A Rotting Pumpkin, Scandalous, and Cap Torch Humerica. Craptastic Boar. Make a Mexican woman put on a blonde wig and blue contacts to play Sue Storm and no one bats an eye. Cast a black eye as the Human Torch and everyone loses their minds! Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. Either put on these glasses or start eating that trash can. It's clobbering time. Flame on. I like trains. Choo choo. Bubbles. I love, love, love fungus. I don't need an Iron Man suit. I'm already a weapon of mass seduction.